In other big news, the British Prime Minister has concluded his highly anticipated trip to India. The leaders discussed defence, energy and trade ties and announced to seal the free trade deal in October last year. Listen in. First of all, the, the free trade deal, I, I think there are going to be some difficult issues. Uh, tariffs, uh, you know, uh, tariffs on, on, on whiskey uh, is, a, is a tough one. Uh, it would be a great thing, I think, if, if, we could, if, we could, if we could fix that. But, you know, there are, uh, there are all sorts of, uh, of things that need to be uh, addressed, I think. That, but there are big, big opportunities. On, on your point about defence and, and how that's going to, how that's going to work, look, you're, you're entirely right. What, we, what we've agreed is that there has to be a focus on a company-to-company -company basis. And, and, and so when we look at these, uh, some of these projects that I've described, whether it's uh, electric propulsion for, for ships or, or new aero, aero engines for, uh, for fighters or, or undersea technology or, 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 or whatever it happens to be, uh, what we're going to do is make sure that we bring our companies uh, together. The Prime Ministers of the UK and India discuss the next generation of defence and security collaborations across five particular domains, that is land, sea, air, space and cyber. The United Kingdom will provide support for new Indian designed and built fighter jets. It will also seek to support India's requirements for new technology to identify and respond to threats in the Indian Ocean. The British government will also support greater defence and security collaboration with India over the coming decade. London would issue an open general export license to New Delhi and reduce bureaucracy to shorten the delivery time for defence procurement. Meanwhile, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that the two sides have agreed to deepen cooperation in the defence sector, which will include manufacture, technology, design and development. Prime Minister Modi has dubbed this support to India as quote-unquote Atma Nirbhar Bharat Plan. हमने रक्षा क्षेत्र में सहयोग बढ़ाने पर भी सहमति व्यक्त की है रक्षा क्षेत्र में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी डिजाइन और डेवलपमेंट सभी क्षेत्रों में यूके द्वारा आत्मनिर्भर भारत के समर्थन का हम स्वागत करते हैं आज हमने अपने क्लाइमेट और एनर्जी पार्टनरशिप को और अधिक गहन करने का निर्णय लिया हम यूके को भारत के नेशनल हाइड्रोजन मिशन में शामिल होने के लिए आमंत्रित करते हैं फॉर मोर अपडेट्स ऑन दिस आर प्रिंसिपल डिप्लोमेटिक कॉरेस्पॉन्डेंट सिद्धांत सिबिल गेट्स इज द लेटेस्ट फ्रॉम न्यू डेली टेक लुक Well, the two-day visit of the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson is over. There are no public engagements now, and we have seen two key issues dominating the agenda. One is, of course, trade. Another on defence, on trade. We know the free trade talks uh, deadlines have been given. The uh, the Indian side has said it should be concluded by the fourth quarter of uh, this uh, uh, year, while uh, the UK Prime Minister has uh, said Diwali or October. as uh, the timeline when it can be concluded but on defense uk is offering india support when it comes to fighter jets uh, uh, there are of course other issues as well uh, uh, the rise of khalistani extremism in uk uh, is something that uh, sought deliverables in terms of forming a task force uh, by both uh, the governments and uh, on economic offenders like vijay malya uh, the uk prime minister showed sensitivities about indian concerns and of course uh, uh, talked about uh, uh, while extradition has been given a go ahead uh, there are still Uh, certain legal issues but by and large two days of hectic diplomacy whether it's in gujarat whether it's here in delhi and the focus uh, being on how to make sure that both countries can come together in uh, various region uh, uh, sectors and uh, when it comes to issues uh, like uh, global issues especially uh, the russian invasion of ukraine which was of course uh, 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 something that came up during the visit as well it looks like that india and uk have come to terms with their own uh, perspectives about um, and the uh, the the ongoing invasion by the russians but also how they can work together on practical terms especially on energy on green energy and that of course can wean away uh, the global community away from uh, the uh, russian uh, energy something that the west is very keen on
with video journalist Neeraj Patel, Sidhan Sibbal for Vion in New Delhi. Vion World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.